bringing intent, content onto the path. And the uh, verses are going like this. If our equals or inferiors treat us with contempt due to pride, proud, to place them respectfully just like a lama or masters. On the crown of the, our head is a Bodhisattva practice. Hmm. And uh, sometimes this kind of is happened. And uh, same our level, or some is like uh, uh, inferior to the ourself. Maybe it's like uh, uh, contempt. Maybe others has such a kind of disturbing emotion of uh, arrogant, proud, and something and something. And uh, if like kind of throws to us, this doers do like this, how we can do repayment? Maybe it is like a, hmm, we constantly dream and this person is as our own, like a teacher or like kind of our own individual spiritual friend. And we need to pay great uh, respect for, to this because it's like a kind of uh, the contentment like an insult to us, it is a little bit benefit for us because generally we think we are superiors. We think I am is like a kind of God, Buddha. I am the best human beings. I have good education, I have good position, I'm rich, I'm not dependent to the others, I'm quite good. And then it's someone is intent, you know, contempt, like insult to ours. How they can do it? Because I'm superior. Then it's like, a, it is a good, it's like it's the marvelous. And then afterwards to look the our proud to look at the, our arrogant. And then it's like maybe we can to say this other one is maybe very powerful. Maybe it's like superiors. For example, here's the example of the Lama or teachers. Generally, for example, in Europe we can have very difficult. Lama is the boss. Lama is the dictatorship. You know, do you understand? Lamas all the time say, what can we do? Is using the samayas, or we need to respect, and okay, he or she says something, then we need to follow. We are not democratic. But this means it's like, then is this Lama's a little content. Lama's all the time is like saying that you have this. For example, some followers may be very rich, may be very like a kind of worldly superiors. You have a great education. Someone says, like, I'm a police. I'm like better than you. I'm living in the civilization countries. I'm a civilizer. Then these lamas all the time say, like, you do understand? Very nice explanation. And then is you become angry, but you cannot do nothing. And then it's like, what? That means you cannot to repay, how to say, uh, revenge. And then there's no choice. You need to take care of your anger, your arrogant and proud. See? It is like, for example, when we are like, you know, to front of the lamas, oh, to prostrating. It is so difficult. Once I was in Denmark, I said, it's like, no, this is for me. It's like, oh, awful please to, to stop like this. Some Danish said, that's good. Now we are free, don't <laughs> And uh, like they have like, why? Because it's like reality is like, why I need to prostitute? Because this teacher and myself is equal. 
mood different. And then is if I proceed, I'm a little bit kind of myself is down. And that is like not very good. Sometimes the presentation is the antidote for the, our arrogant and proud. Like this is like if someone's contempt to ours, defends, you know, defend to ours, it is very good. It is the antidote for the, our arrogant and our the proud. Arrogant and the proud is this disturbed emotion is the source of the suffering, source of the samsara. From this disturbing emotion of the arrogant and proud, and a lot of make mistake, lot of kind of uh, how he says wrong doing things. You know, in the neg when we talk about negative emotions, most worst things is arrogant and proud. When we have arrogant and proud. It is a really difficult to see the, our own defects. Hundred percent, I'm telling to never to see. I'm good. I'm excellent. Maybe if you are very good, you should become Buddha, but not Buddha. And in this case, everybody has something defect. You know. In this case, we cannot to be proud. And also, it's like dis the disturbing emotion of proud, arrogant. If you have fool like this, we never ever perceive the other's qualities. Even the Buddhas appear in the front of ours, we never perceive as the Buddha as Buddha. You know, in the historical Buddha, he is one tenders. He was very intelligent. He is really he came to memorize the three Tipitakas, all the teachings of the Buddhas. He can to he says, I'm the same as the Buddha. What is the difference? He was with the Buddha 25 years, but the finally his arrogant proudness, he couldn't manage it, his disturbed emotions, he couldn't purify his disturbed emotions, and he cannot to the purify his negative emotions, negative deeds. He reborn in the hungry ghost realms, or hungry ghosts into the list in the one flower gardens. And even the, the, to meet face to face, and what Buddha can do, you meet face to face the Buddha. Buddha cannot do nothing. And according to this arrogance, arrogant, proud, all the times making the kind of, you know, positive things to come into in our minds. And therefore, and in the Buddhist perspective, we have one self-confidence is that we have Buddha nature. That is the most important. If we do the positive things, this can make the self-confidence. When we obtain the human existence, that to make the self-confidence. I can do something, good things. I will become the Buddha. It's obvious. But outwardly or inner is like something to others to take more like a, in like a profile. It is more in the society is very nice and to look at the, my own defects. If I have the negative emotion, the arrogant, proud, and that is the my secret defect. It looks like someone's like kind of intent, defend me. It, this is like, no, it's the, but maybe it's the according to my fault. And then they doing like this. For example, if we become more arrogant, then others more angry. Others more like defend to ours. If we become more kind, it's never others doing things and more respect. For example, in my village, in the monastery, there is one, one lama. It's a, even you call the lamas, he hated. Don't call me lamas. He's a very humble, as most students they meet, and he's like almost become rainbow body, and he's feed food, punting, already we can to see. And he sticks in the stone, it's there is a punting. His name is Lama Gadi. And all the, his life, it's like very much like humble. Even you invited many monks to, to, uh, for the benefactors or for the doing puja. He's all the time to the end of the rules. He's never go to the, in the highest chair or highest. He all the time laughing and Lama Gadi, which can you say Lama, uh, the worst practitioners. All the time he said, but then in the, in the my village, maybe how many thousand people living, 
the finally everybody respect him as the Buddha. And that is like to really is he all the time is like taking care of his the arrogant, proud, disturbing emotions. And it's like even someone says like so to him, it's a bad thing that you know, he say hey, hey, hey. Good things that you know, he say hey, hey, hey. He's taking care of his own the disturbing emotions. That is the most important. Therefore, he said someone's doing to our bad things, imbearable things. It's not by the cause, okay? But that is like the, we need to bring into the path as this person is like kind of our own spiritual guidance. I'm going to next the verse, verse uh, uh, 18.